Hey guys, Alec back with a super quick video investing video for you, stock market investing video. And we're going to be going over two big companies, Sony. We're going to do a technical dive on Sony and we're going to do a technical dive on Nintendo. So Sony real quick, you'll see that they have a market cap of 90 billion, PE ratio of 15, which is really good. They're at almost a 52 week high or actually at an all time high, which is not the best. So this is a quick video, guys, just so we can get it out and do a quick one for you. So they're at an all-time high, Nintendo. I would uh, probably love to buy them around um, 65, 70. But you'll see why they're at an all-time high is because of their um, balance sheet, which we're going to get into next. So real quick, the market cap is 66 billion, almost the same as Sony. It's actually 30 billion less, which is you know a lot. And then you'll see the PE ratio is 21. So just to recap, you see Sony here, and you can kind of see that this is their income statement, by the way. See how it says income statement, and then you click here, it's balance sheet. So they're two different things. Income statement, you look at the revenues are increasing, which Sony you don't really see. But if you go to their balance sheet, their assets are a lot higher than their... It's like basically their assets and their liabilities are basically the same, which is really not good for Sony. Then if you go to their their balance sheet on Nintendo and you see their assets are basically way higher. What is that? They're like four times, five times their assets or liabilities. That's what the whole video on balance sheets is all about is having a company with high, high assets and low liabilities. And then their income statement, you look at their revenue, it's increasing as well, better than Sony. So in 2017, it's basically doubled 2017, 2018. And then look at it now. So I would say Nintendo is a lot better. So after you pick what stock that you want to go for, Nintendo over Sony, you go ahead and look at the graphs. You know, it's going to, it's an upward trend here the last few months. So it's good, 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 good. We're looking all good. And then, but you see right here is some consolidation, right, in the market. And the whole market in general is consolidating. Nintendo, I think, overall is going to be following the market. So it's not too um, important to look at. But let's zoom in. So we're at one year. We're at five years. We're at one year. We're at three months. So we're going to actually go ahead and draw some supports and resistance resistances on these this time frame here. So here you'll see our support on the bottom. You'll see our resistance at the top. You'll actually see that right now it's in between. And it's been it actually broke the resistance a few times. It almost started a new um, support and new resistance, but it didn't break out because it fell back below. You see where it's at currently. The top line, it's below that. But if it kept bouncing off that top line and used it as a new support at the bottom, that could have been good news for a breakout to see. But like I said, overall, uh, Nintendo is going to probably be following the market. And this is a good way to look at your stocks, look at the balance sheets, look at the income statement. Once you find which one you like, then you go over and look at the graph and do a technical analysis on the graph. And if you want a more in-depth on the graphs and how to read graphs and technical analysis, that's what my one-on-one -on -one coaching's for. So if you are interested in that, hit me in the DMs. I do have a few spots available. Direct message me on Instagram. I will respond right away too. So that's how you do a quick and uh, technical analysis dive in 60 seconds or less on each company. I think this video was under three minutes and we did two quick analysis, balance sheet, income statement, looked at revenue growth. We looked at forward PE, PE ratios. We looked at market cap. And then we also looked at liabilities versus assets. So until next time, guys, I hope this video did help you out and smack a like on the thumbs up button, leave a comment. Until next time, guys, remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.